Well, hopefully this one feels like we, you know, hopefully get through it, because... Gosh darn us, there's so much dialogue in this game, because they got so many characters. Like, just way too many, you know? Like, they just constantly keep popping up, left, right, and center. Like, they're everywhere. Well... Of the rebel army. I knew you were coming. And I still haven't bothered to look up who your voice actor is. I really should have done that. Kind of reminds me of Beggar to a certain extent from Atelier Iris, though. Um, Kilia, can you refrain from eating before every battle? I find it very distracting. I need the energy, man. Lord Bloodus? There was no need for a demon general to bother with this rebel army. Please, let us handle them. <laughs> if you could handle us, we wouldn't be here already. You fool. You can't even see how much strength they possess. You better stay back. Blowing away all the lost soldiers as if they were pieces of garbage. Well, they were. Now, no one can interrupt. Let's start where we left off. Crap! What should I do? Nothing, because I got this. <laughs> What's up, Zero? Scared now? Everyone is scared, Blip. Let's join forces and face him together. If we could win that easily, we would have done so already. Now, like Zerokin said, what should we do? Charge him head on and punch him in the face. No, I'm not scared like the rest of you. I'm thinking about how I can save that person. That person? Who are you talking about? Aren't you going to assume your stance? I don't need to assume my stance to face you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep on bragging, man. You think you can beat all of us by yourself? You underestimate us. Or does he? I'm only dealing with novices. I only need one finger. <laughs> oh. Kilia wasn't. Show me your true power. Or else you'll die. Well, the fight is on! But this probably ain't gonna be the last fight, even if we beat the crap out of him. Which, admittedly, we probably will, despite him being level 215 right now. Um, let's see, I can't capture him, obviously. Let's see, Purgatory Palm? Yeah, why not? Oh, please. That's not going to do anything. Besides annoying me with how long it takes. Well, blew up the entire planet, eh? And did zero damage! How pitiful. What happened? Show me that power of yours. Oh, shut up. At this rate. Now, hurry up and unleash me. You actually do know, right? That I can kill Void Dark in an instant? Stop reminding me. If I unleash him, I might be able to win. But if I give him his freedom, then someone else might become a victim. Kill That's right, Lise. I won't let anyone else die. Well, now. I can't get behind this guy. I can only move one spot. That makes no sense. Screw you, game. Let me thank you. Take that, dude. Oh, you want to do that, huh? Well, here. Have another one! You are pretty good. Am I? You okay? No, no, don't skip it. I'm sure we're going to get cutscene BS where he takes off finally. Exactly yep. Cutscene bullshit, because he definitely used a lot more than one finger in that uh, attack we saw. 
Damn. My current power level isn't... This is the power of the Demon General. We have no chance of winning. Apparently not. You Rudy Boo Candy ass! As our tactician, you shouldn't give up! That's right, Blitz! No matter how strong he is, he must have some kind of weakness. It better not be something lame, like dirty girls or something. <laughs> Even if he has a weakness, our difference in strength is too big. We still wouldn't be able to hurt him. I was stupid for relying on you guys. In that case, I should just... What, run? Are you going to run away by yourself, coward? What on earth was that? Oh my, pardon me. Did that work? It simply hit him in the ribs. Kilia, that might be his weakness. I'm on it. Bam! Hit him in the ribs harder, I guess. Damn, you think with all the armor, he'd have better rib protection. As I suspected, his ribs are his weak point. Kilia, we can do this. His ribs are his weak point. Warriors of the Rebel Army, you'll pay for this. Will we? Hey, stop! Oh, too late, Ari gone. Don't follow him. The only thing you guys have going for you is the luck to hit his weak spot. Zerokin, what are you talking about? Demon General Bloodus has an old scar over his ribs. That is his only weak spot. And why do you know that? An old scar over his ribs. If you knew his weak spot, why didn't you tell us, Flint? If you all focused straight for his weak spot, then what would have happened? He'd know you knew. Zero? Are you some kind of genius? You're just a super idiot. Don't interrupt us. Because of that scar. That old scar is the reason Goldion lost to Void Dark. What? Goldion? What are you talking about? Well, obviously, Goldion is Demon General Bloodus. Demon General Bloodus' true identity is the Great Demon Fist, Goldion. According to historians, hundreds of brave overlords stood up to fight the forces of Demon Emperor Void Dark. However, the majority of them were not even able to leave a scratch on the Demon Emperor's body and simply turned into space dust. That led to pressure being put on Brutal Beast. Unfortunately, there aren't many records on the rebel army during this time. Oh, that's just too bad. <sighs> Hopefully she doesn't get a ton of cutscenes now. Hey, weaklings who can't get any girls. Have you heard of this super easy to use exercise gear to master the ultimate demon technique? Okay, okay, calm down. Let me introduce you to the ultimate demon technique exercise machine. You'll get buff in no time. With just five minutes a day, you'll be able to carry up to a hundred people. Also, with the DVD that comes with it, you'll learn the ultimate demon technique. See? It's just that easy. <laughs> wow! Red Magnus was able to learn the ultimate demon technique super easily. Even Usaria was able to use the ultimate demon technique flip. It's amazing and very effective. Next time on Paid Programming, Episode 7. Double Episode, The Hell Show and Pandemonium. Let's all master the ultimate demon technique. <laughs> well, now, we got... Uh, plus, this big secret achieved, huh? 
One night, eh? I have to tell you guys something. I... I used to be the great demon fist. Goldion's apprentice. What? Sir Kilia is the great demon fist. Goldion's apprentice. Red Magnus could tell you weren't an ordinary guy, but to find out you were Goldion's apprentice is super surprising! Is it really? Considering we could use his techniques? Even freaking Zerokin could recognize those. I heard the ultimate demon technique was only passed down to a single apprentice, but there was another apprentice besides Zerokin, Flip. The tradition of only passing it down to a single apprentice is just a rumor. There are other successors. Well, how many are there? I see. I see. So Kilia was also an apprentice of Goldion. No wonder you can use the same skill as Zerokin. But Sir Kilia, in that case, you should have told us. As far as I was concerned, the less I had to talk about it, the better. Back then, I was a hopeless man. I was born and raised in the one netherworld where the scum of all demon kind eventually ends up. Cryo blood. It's a bloodbath of a world where you had to fight just to survive. Every day was a cycle of fighting and betrayal. Yep, sounds like hell, all right. When I finally stood atop that netherworld, I had become the Overlord. That was when I met Goldion. Speaking of cryo blood. It was ruled by the infamous tyrant overlord, Kilidia. Sir Kilia, are you? I haven't been called that in a long time. Tyrant Kilidia, the legendary overlord who claimed the title of strongest overlord and suddenly disappeared from the public eye. Got a heck of a lot weaker, apparently. The fact that he is Kilia is world-shattering news, Flip! Is it? The strongest overlord was here all this time? Kilia! Red Magnus challenges you to a match right now! Sir Kilia is mine. I won't let a musclehead put a scratch in my precious brand name item. Jeez. You weren't just an ordinary demon after all. Kilia has enormous magic potential, so I can believe it. But I can't believe that the Kilia who saved me and the tyrant overlord Kalidia are one in the same blip! Yeah, well, I'm assuming his tyrant side's currently locked up. I used to be a bloodthirsty savage. Then Goldion appeared before me and handed me my first taste of defeat. He saw right through me and could tell that I couldn't control my powers. That's when he told me to become his apprentice. I wasn't interested in controlling my powers. And I didn't want to be his apprentice, but I wanted to defeat him, so I played along. I mean no disrespect, but Goldion must be pretty unique to take Kilia in as his apprentice. Or was he just a meddler? Maybe Is both. Responsible for Kilia's undemonic personality. He was a pretty meddlesome guy, but he taught me the ultimate demon technique so that I could control my powers. Wasn't it just because you had great potential, Flip? Maybe. But this is now the third time I've betrayed him. Your third betrayal? What do you mean? Who do you think? Okay. You said that his old scar was the reason Goldion lost to Void Dark, right? Well, guess who gave it to him? Yeah? Well, I was the one who gave him that scar. I was able to master his skills, one after another, except for one. What was I missing? To teach me, Goldion took the skill I unleashed full on, without any protection. Because of that, he was greatly injured. I still couldn't figure out what I was missing, so I ran away. That was my first betrayal. And if Goldion lost to Void Dark and became Demon General Bloodus, then... That was my third betrayal. From what you've said, Goldion doesn't seem like someone who would just obey Void Dark. 
He must have been brainwashed. Uh, perhaps. I owe Goldion a lot. I. I understand your situation now. In that case, I'll help you out too, bro. When did you and I become brothers? Well, we apparently apprenticed underneath the same guy. You're Goldion, I mean, Master's Apprentice, which makes us fellow apprentices. I didn't think he had any other apprentices besides me. I'm sorry for calling you a thief, bro. Jeez. You've called him a thief countless times, but you're really flexible with your opinions. I'm beyond amazed and have landed on admiration. Yeah, I suppose most would. Let's forget about our past misdeeds and focus on saving Master, right, bro? But what was his second betrayal? That is the question. <sighs> past struggles, Episode part seven. one. Past struggles, part one. I guess I didn't have to say that. Because the game was going to say it for me. That bloodish guy. Even though it was by Lord Boy Dark's orders, he tried to steal my prey. Toto Bunny's Usalia and Scorching Flame's Red Magnus. They are both my prey. Oh, you're gonna kind of regret that. Demon General Lady Matarita, we received a report. It seems Demon General Bloodus has been injured battling the Rebel Army. What? The Rebel Army injured Bloodus? Yeah, we did, by luck. Yes. As unbelievable as it seems, it's true. <laughs> How interesting. Having trouble taking care of those guys is one strike against you, Bloodus. So, any updates on the Rebel Army's movement? Yes. They haven't made any major moves, but at this rate they're going to attack Demon General Bloodus' main base. Probably. From their point of view, this is a great opportunity to defeat the Demon General. They wouldn't let it go to waste. We have already prepared reinforcements. We only await your orders, Lady Matarita. I imagine she's gonna say, leave them alone. Reinforcements? Though it may not be ideal, don't you think it's rude to send a demon general reinforcements? Besides, if he gets defeated by a rebel army, then he doesn't deserve to be one of Lord Boy Dark's demon generals. Call him off. But... We can't abandon an owl. Who gave you permission to talk back? Can I get recycled, man? That's yeah. why I hate living organisms. Kill and recycle. Corpses are much easier to handle. And that's why you don't want to talk to Major Rita. Another old Ed shot us completely do. We worked really hard for this. Possible, huh? Well, geez. 65, huh? I'll do it. Gotcha. Um shop. 3D objects. Um, where are we loading? Oh, we can just buy all kinds of random crap. I'm sure they get more expensive as we go along, too. Oh, some of these are desks from, uh, the Sky of Three. Okay. Admittedly, I don't know if I really care for any of these things. I may just end up buying a lot of them just for the sake of buying them. Huh, a library, huh? <laughs> well, there's some old pixel art. Well, nothing I particularly care about, to be honest. Where would you like to go, dude? Can we get an update on where we're going next? So I can actually use this for grinding. Hmm, a sand volcano, eh? San I'm sorry, but I'm going by myself. 
What are you saying, Sir Kilia? You are mine. I won't let you act selfishly. Oh, just let him. It's my fault Goldion was brainwashed by Void Dark and became his puppet. I can't let you guys get involved in my personal matters. Let me take care of this on my own. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you trying to hog all the super fun battles for yourself? Red Magnus says hell no! The old man's right. Trying to leave your little apprentice brother ain't cool, bro. Yeah, I got investment in this too, you know. Kilia, you risked your life to save Usalia from her problem, which didn't concern you. It's Usalia's turn to help you, Blip. <sighs> Sir Kilia, did you think you could run away from me? I will not allow that to happen. <laughs> oh gosh, darn, they won't leave me alone with that laugh. You guys, but no. Just give up, Kilia. Don't you know these people don't listen once they've made up their minds? Yeah, you think he'd know that by now. Plus, if we can free the great demon fist Goldion from his brainwashing, we can get him to join the rebel army. Then our probability of defeating Void Dark will rise significantly, right? One would hope so. That is a good idea. And I will have one more servant to kneel before me. <laughs> oh, that just makes it sound like a terrible idea. <laughs> I can't wait to see who among them will be the first to die. Shut up. I won't let anyone die. Can you tell her that? No matter how much you try, those who are with you will all die sooner or later. It has always been like that, right? Hurry up and unleash me. Then I can clean everything up for you. <laughs> Jeez. That guy just never shuts up. Well, might as well get this out of the way, I guess. <laughs> you won't be able to keep it, huh? Ugh. Yeah, that's her job. Yeah, silence, musclehead. Told you I don't need any apologies. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, jeez. You'd probably die, man. Huh? Well, I guess he should feel less guilty there. Well, he almost got killed off. Well, that'll do for now. Next time, you know, we'll uh, come back and work on the next chapter and hopefully, you know, get some other characters up to level. Or stat boost them enough where, you know, it won't matter. One or the other. Till then, see ya.